Hi, I'm Mrs. O'Brien and this is my dog Charlotte and sometimes she likes to read books with me. Today we're going to read the book that's called Miss Brooks Loves Books and I Don't. It's by Barbara Botner and it was illustrated by Michael Emberley. Pay attention Charlotte. Miss Brooks is our librarian. She loves books a lot. She loves the runaway bunny and Babar, where the wild things are, and the very hungry caterpillar. I asked Miss Brooks why she dresses up for reading circle. I want you to get as excited about books as I am, she says. I think Miss Brooks gets a little too excited, and I bet her costume is itch. Halloween means we each have to find a poem to share, but all the books with witches, ghosts, and goblins are checked out, and I hate pumpkins. So I make up a Halloween poem of my own. Eek, a freak. The class looks at me funny. Miss Brooks says, well, it's a start. All year long, Miss Brooks reads us books. Books about dragons and pilgrims and presidents books about love and leprechauns, groundhogs even. It's vexing. That means it makes her upset. Then in May, Miss Brooks tells us about something truly terrifying. Book week. You each need to pick a favorite story to share with the class. I want you to wear a costume and tell us all about it. Really show us why you love it, she says. It's book week. I'll never love a book the way you do, I tell Miss Brooks. Don't be so sure, she says. When I get home, I ask my mother if we can move to a new town. My mother says there's a librarian in every town. I ask if she wants to do my assignment for me. I've already been in the first grade, says my mother. Every single day of book week, kids share stories about trains and fairies, cowboys and dogs. When Miss Brooks asks what I think, I say, too flowery, too furry, too clickety, too yippity. So Miss Brooks fills my bag with more books for me to read with my mom, but I don't like any of them. They're too kissy too pink and too silly, I tell my mother. You're as stubborn as a wart, she says. Warts? I want to read a story with warts, I shout. My mother finds a book called Shrek. Shrek has hairs on his nose and he snorts. I love that. Can you read it again, I ask? Snort, 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 snort. I love this book. I have to practice the words over and over, but my mother helps. Then we make an ogre costume. I make stick on warts for the whole class. When I get to school the next day, I ask Miss Brooks to lend me a hand. She's passing out all the warts. When I say the word snort, the whole class snorts. I explain why a stubborn, smelly, snotty ogre searching for a revolting bride makes me laugh. Snort, 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 snort. There she is cheering her on. Miss Brooks says she's glad I found a book to love. She says that even ogres, like me, can find something funny and fantastic and appalling in the library. And that is the slimy truth. The end. I think one of the reasons I love this book so much is because I met an author, her name is Catherine Applegate, and she was at a library visiting and she get, let us ask questions. And one of the things that kids asked her was about how she liked to read when she was in elementary school. And she said she really didn't like to read, but she said she kept searching and searching and then she found books to love. And then she became an author. She wrote The One and Only Ivan, which won the Newbery Award. And that's never available in the library because it's always checked out by somebody. It's a great story. And she also wrote Crenshaw, and she wrote this series called Roscoe Riley Rules, which is a series kind of like the Junie B. Jones books, but Roscoe Riley is a little boy, and he's writing from the timeout chair. So his stories tell you how he ended up in the timeout chair. So she didn't like reading at first, but she kept trying, and she found that special book to love. And I hope that you do love reading, but if you don't, then I want to encourage you to keep trying, and hopefully you'll find your book to love too. Have a great reading month. Thanks.